Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading, a astrology Celtic cross for Taurus. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, spirit. Let's find out their sun sign, their moon, or their sun sign, please, and then we'll do the moon and the rest as they come here. Let's see. Okay, and I'm only reading in the upright. So there could have been some recent heartbreak here. Some type of loss. Hmm. I'm feeling like this is heartbreak, emotional pain here. Maybe even some betrayal. Yeah, maybe somebody came in passionately here or maybe left passionately here. Yeah, there was betrayal. There's the Ten of Swords. And the Queen of Wands, or no, Page of Wands. So this may have been some news that you got. Some, I don't know, some new opportunity maybe? Let's see. Okay, let's get the Moon sign for you. Or maybe, let's get another card for the Three of Swords. Okay, so you might be watching somebody here that maybe, this could be somebody that's watching you that maybe betrayed you. Taurus, let's see. What's your moon sign here? These are your emotions, what you have inside your heart here. What's your emotions here for your moon sign? Hmm. Celebrations. Hmm. Could be that you're seeing someone. You're watching. Somebody's watching you celebrate something here. Okay. What is it? Oh, yeah. They're watching you celebrate whatever your success maybe you have. And they're pretty upset. Um, eight of Cups here. And this is watching you walk away. So they may have walked away from you and now maybe you're getting some success here, Taurus. Or maybe it's who you're watching if this is you. Rising sign, how other people see you. You may be in the spotlight or have your own channel. Maybe you have a platform of some sort. You could be this person's wish fulfillment here with the star card here. This could be somebody that walked away from you and experienced some other heartache somewhere else and is watching you be celebrated. And they're kind of wishing they hadn't walked away from you. You could have been their wish fulfillment. They kind of knew that though, but yet they chose to walk away. Yeah, you might be healing from this or this person is healing. Let's see here. What's their Mercury or your Mercury? This is about you. So yeah, you've already started some success here. Maybe you have a business. You're very thoughtful this way. You think like a queen of pentacles. You're very nurturing, you're practical, you're reliable. You're very financially successful, material success, I feel. And this is how you think. You think about your material success. Maybe you have a business. What's your Chiron? How you heal? How do you heal here? Ah, boundaries. You've learned some boundaries here. Or this person needs to learn. No, I feel like it's you, Taurus. I feel like you are the one that is learning these boundaries. I feel like you've held, you are the one that is healing. You might be the one that is the wish fulfillment. I feel like this is somebody that's watching you. They may have broken your heart. And now they're watching you glow up here with the success. They're kind of wishing they hadn't walked away. But I feel like maybe you walked away from them. Yeah. They might be telling other people that they're the ones that walked away. But I don't. I feel like this is more. They're watching you glow up. You walked away from them. You put boundaries in place. You healed something. You wanted to do something. I feel like they maybe didn't like what you wanted to do. Maybe they're one of those old paradigms where they want certain <laughs> certain things. Maybe they feel like they're the provider and you're not meant to work. You're supposed to stay home and... <laughs> 
be the homemaker. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Don't get me wrong. But nowadays, you normally need two people to make a living that's worth anything. What's your Venus? What's your love like? Ah, you might have some blessings. You're investing in a Ace of Pentacles. You may not even be looking at love at this point. You might be investing in yourself. You have some blessings that are coming in here, and maybe that is what you're celebrating. Your success of some sort. Maybe you are hitting a, I don't know, so many viewers or subscribers, or I feel like you've, you're hitting your mark or you're halfway there to what you wanted to get. I kind of feel like it's, it's something that you've put as a goal and you've reached it. Let's see. What's your Mars? The way you deal with life. Okay. So you like to learn a lot of things. I feel like you're very studious. You, you, um, I feel like it's like very diligent and grounded, like financially orientated, like you're learning a lot. Yeah, you're trying to balance. This is justice. This might be karma that this person has to watch you glow up. <laughs> Judgment and justice back to back. Wow. Somebody is definitely having to pay some karmic debt here to you, I feel. Um, this is justice you're getting in. I feel like you've already balanced your energy here, your dark and your light, just by this card right here, this justice card. You can see it plain as day. There's the light and the dark there. And I feel like you've balanced both sides of yourself. And you are healing, and I feel like you are doing your work here. This is definitely judgment, um, maybe even a judgment call. It could be a test coming up for you to see if you really learned the lesson with the learning card here. Yeah, I like that, but that has to do with your love. So there might be somebody trying to come back that deceived you from the past, and maybe you learned that lesson. That could be why you're ce getting celebrated right now. Let's see. And that... That was your, that was your Mars. That's how you deal with life. Your love was this one here. You are investing in your blessings. Your blessings are coming in because you invested in yourself, I feel. And this is your Mars. You are definitely learning something. You've balanced something out. And you're, whoever did you wrong is getting this karma where they have to watch you glow up. Let's see, what is your self-love here? <clears throat> You're passionately going after whatever it is that you want in your life. I'm just going to move this back a little so I have more room. Okay, so this is how you, your self-love, your series here. Wow, yeah, you've ended out some cycles. I mean, look at that card. Isn't that a beautiful card? This these are the tarot, um, Wheel of Tarot cards, and I really like them. The, the writing on here is really small, but um, they're beautiful pictures, and they give you another aspect to look at when you're looking at symbols and stuff. I really feel like you've, maybe this has taken a whole year to close something out, or you closed it out last year. Uh, I feel like at year end, maybe December 31st, and I feel like you've gone through a few seasons here, um, spring, summer, fall, and winter. Maybe you live in the northern aspects of the world where you get all four seasons. There's some passionate thing you're going after, and I feel like you've closed out some cycles you were meant to close out. This is beautiful. What's your Jupiter? What's your luck here for Taurus? Ah, luck. Okay, so maybe you felt like you had no luck at all here with the Ten of Swords. You may have felt like you've been... I kind of feel like maybe you hit rock bottom when it comes to luck. Possibly in the last year, through all these seasons here. In... Um, yeah, I feel like you've you've hit rock bottom. Yeah, and now you're fighting for what you believe in, or you're fighting for your cause or yourself. This is luck coming in for you. I feel like you're being protected by spirit here. Your luck is 
totally changing here with the Knight of Swords. I feel like you're taking action. You're seizing the moment. You're being assertive. And maybe you weren't so much in the past. What's your Saturn, your discipline and responsibilities here? What's your Saturn? Okay, so you might be single. This is my single card, the Nine of Pentacles. And if you're not, you're doing well for yourself in whatever venture you're making. Yeah, and family might be very important to you. You're very disciplined when it comes to your family life. I feel like family is a lot to you. Like this is everything to you. You invest a lot into your nine pentacles into your family. You may have family life. You may feel responsible for your family. What's your Neptune? What's your imagination here? Okay. You may be bored about stuff. You're maybe not, um, maybe not taking the time to imagine having some things come into your imagination here. I feel like you're just so stuck in what you're doing already. You're not having time to think outside of anything else with the five of pentacles here. Not that it's a loss in money, but maybe you're not making as much money as you're hoping to. You need to use your imagination here and maybe this will change things for you. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, you're, this is the page of wands. So this is like inspiration, fresh ideas, that enthusiasm and positivity, right? So, okay, let's move on to your uniqueness, Uranus. Whoa, that almost fell on the floor. Whoa, so you may be karma, Taurus. <laughs> You, people that come in and do you wrong, I feel like you may be their karma. So you're going to take a lot of hurt. You're going to feel a lot of people um, maybe don't like your light. You're going to feel like everybody else, um, you might even feel all alone. But you bring change to people. And you maybe change the way they think or feel yeah with the queen of pentacles you may change the way they love this is emotionally connected this is being compassionate loving sensitive that tender hearted that sweetheart card that queen of pentacle or queen of cups sorry um you may change their whole aspect of how to love Maybe they haven't experienced a true love before or people that you come into, you you teach them about how love should be, I feel. What's your palace? What's your relationships? What's your relationships here? And just remember, I'm only reading up, right? <clears throat> wow. Okay. So in your relationships, you may have had um, some toxic relationships where your partner has made you the opponent. And I feel like they may even have <laughs> put you in a competition against them. Like you're less than because they're better than you or um, they don't, they're jealous of you. I, that jealousy here with the devil card this could also be that a lot of people desire you and there's a lot of competition for you. And that could be why this person's uncomfortable here and they're watching you. I feel like you pay attention to people. You might gather information, useful information. And with that three of swords here, that could be how things are for you. Um, you may have really felt even your family you weren't connected to. It's like, I don't even know who these people are like they don't am I really part of this family like when you were a kid I feel like maybe you <laughs> you may feel all alone I'm, I'm really feeling that and but you've changed how people love they may desire you quite a bit and they may have put you in a lot of competitions too because they may have been jealous of you your own person but I feel like maybe they're just narcissistic people you've come into contact and you've shown them what real love is and maybe you had to walk away from these people. 
maybe you've had to walk away from every relationship because of that toxicity here. I feel like you have that boundaries here. Um, you've healed a lot. And yeah, you've learned about boundaries. Definitely boundaries. I'm feeling you've stood up for yourself here. You're not going to deal with anybody that's going to make you feel less than. Or they're not going to treat you properly. You're walking away. You have certain aspects. You might even be classed as high maintenance. And I don't even feel like that's true. I feel like that's just something that has been put on you, projected onto you. What's your fortune and your wealth? Ah, yeah, you've gone within. I feel like you've really healed something. You've gone within to really uh, take a look at what matters to you. What do you want in your life? Maybe you've always lived for everyone else. This is about patience. This is Virgo energy. This is about self-love, soul searching. I feel like you've really found yourself again. Maybe you felt like you've lost yourself. Maybe that was why I'm picking that up about your family not feeling like you belong even in your family. And I feel like maybe you've always done things for everyone else or always done stuff that you people you looked up to wanted you to do. To please them and I feel like even now you're like even to your family I feel like you're like no I'm I'm doing what I want to do what I'm meant to do I feel like you may have found a calling Wow okay let's see can I get another card for the fortune the wealth the hermit I feel like you're waiting for something <laughs> But you don't need to wait for anything. You're going to manifest exactly what you want. I feel like this is something that maybe you already have manifested that might be coming in for you. Spirit has divine timing. So it's going to be when, yeah, see the chariot, it's coming in for you. I feel like divine timing is whenever spirit feels it's time. And it could be coming really close to that. What's your Juno? Your, yeah, okay, your influence. Yeah, you've had a lot of people stab you in the back, talk shit about you. I feel like with the Five of Swords, this is people that have been pretty hostile to you. They may have put you in competitions that you didn't even know you were in, trying to win at all costs. There's arguments and conflict. There's empty victories, I feel like. Um, kind of like... Even though you may have gotten victories, they feel empty because you were never wanting to have to be in that situation to begin with. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't I don't feel like you're I feel like you look at people as equal. You don't look at yourself as being better than anyone else. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you look at them as your brother. You would you don't have that if somebody comes in, say you're a woman, and you see the dress they're wearing, you're not like, oh, I hate her, she's got thick ankles, you know what I mean? Like, you're not like that. You're like, damn, she's got a nice dress, that looks great on her. I, I need to go and see where she got this dress from. I want to see if they have anything else like that, where this, this boutique is, or wherever she got the dress from. You're not, you're not belittling her. You're not jealous of her. You just want to know where she got the dress. <laughs> you know what I mean? So what's your Vesta, your potential? Oh, wow. You have huge potential when it comes to choices and love. So like I'm feeling like before you may have not had a decent relationship. You may not even know what a healthy relationship looks like. And I feel like you're going to have that choice when it comes to love. This is going to be huge for you. This is in your potential here. So you have the potential to find real love here. What's your south node, your past life? What was your past life like? Okay, yeah, you had a lot of anxiety in the past life that you had. You may have had, um, you may have even had a disorder with that uh, 
major anxiety, like, I don't know, uh, there's, there's all different kinds of psychological things you can have, bipolar, or maybe you have, um, just, maybe you've been traumatized in the past life that has put you in that. Maybe you weren't able to deal with uh, some of the hurt you dealt with. I'm just going to move a few things around because <laughs> I need some more space here. Okay. So let us look at, at woo, that wanted to come out. So that was part of, well, you were satisfied with your family that maybe you had in your past life, but there was a lot of anxiety. I, I keep coming back to that family not feeling like you belonged even in your own family like was I adopted <laughs> you know maybe you were I don't know um not to trigger anyone but I that feeling of <laughs> you want to go home but you don't know where home is do you know what I mean just that feeling of it not that you were adopted just that it you just didn't feel like you belonged to that family what is your med, or your med, mid heaven? <laughs> Jeez, I can't talk right now. What's your mid heaven here? Your career. Oh, wow, wow, damn. <clears throat> you had, you had uh, some kind of loving career and made you a lot of money. Maybe you. Um, <laughs> I don't know why this came up, but maybe you put people together when it comes to love, like eHarmony, e or um, you put singles together, like, I'm, I don't know why I'm getting that, but it's almost like you make a lot of money, uh, you're like a boss here, but you're, you're very caring and loving and um, emotionally balanced, you're generous and compassionate, I feel like you're very understanding when it comes to love and love maybe have been part of your career maybe you fell in love with your boss or your boss fell in love with you or you were the boss and you fell in love with an employee I, I don't know it's like two kings here and your ace of cups like this is this is emotionally like a blessing or something here you were very blessed in love and maybe you were your own boss. It could be that simple. Maybe that's what you're doing right now. You're you're your own boss. You're doing really well financially, great wealth. I feel like you might be trying to start a dynasty here or some kind of generational wealth for your family. I feel like family is definitely important whether you've had children of your own um, it could be grandkids. It depends on how old you are, right? You may not have even started a family. You might have been just very focused on your wealth. I feel like whatever family you get into, maybe they have kids. Maybe they're your kids now. Or maybe you fell in love with the grandma and the grandma has grandkids and kids. I don't know. It's something along those lines. Maybe you always wanted a family that you felt you belonged with. I, I don't know. Something along those lines, though. What's your hidden emotions, your Lilith here? What's your Lilith here? Oh, okay. So it's the Nine of Pentacles. So this is very, a lot of uh, earth energy I'm feeling here. So you may have a lot of um, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus in your chart. I mean, I know I, this is a Taurus reading, but you might have other earth signs in your chart, quite a few earth signs. I kind of feel almost um, maybe a little bit of water here. I'm seeing wands as well, some fire energy here. So Leo Aries or Sag. Hmm. But I feel like you, you maybe give opportunities to people with the night you're slow and steady you're diligent and you're hard working but I feel like you might be helping other people with something here 
giving opportunities, maybe to the person you love. What's your Imunje, which is your roots, your family, your ancestors? Maybe somebody here. Oh, okay, spirit. Thank you. Um, your ancestors might be Queen of Wands. So this is, you might be very beautiful here. Maybe you are very attractive. I don't want to say beautiful because you might be a masculine. So you might be showing up in your feminine energy where you're confident and determined. I feel like you're optimistic, but you've got fire here. This is fiery. I knew I picked up on fiery demeanor. Like, you're not going to put up with anybody's shit, <laughs> you know? And this is where I feel like you're getting your self-confidence again. Like, you're, you're really getting yourself back. Like, this is... I feel like yourself. You're getting yourself back. And you're looking at planting new seeds here with somebody. I feel like with the two of wands here, this is about your future. And you're looking at who you might give your other wand to, to help plant those seeds. That's beautiful. These are roots. These are your ancestors. They want you to plant new seeds here. Now you manifest things here when it comes to your fortune and wealth here. And you may not get out a lot with the hermit. You may be with somebody that's a homebody or you don't mind being inside or alone. You might even enjoy your alone time here. What is your north, your north node? Jeez, I can't talk today. What's your current life right now? Your north node. Okay, so you might be saving for something. This may be something you're saving for or you're holding on to something here. What is it? Oh, you are the Empress. I feel like you're saving your money. Wow, Empress, look at that card. Isn't she beautiful? Empress, dang, somebody might be holding on to you. Yeah, you somebody might be trying to hang on to your energy here. Wow. You're all three, no, all four queens, sorry, <laughs> to become this empress. You have to be all queens, all of the queens upright at that. And I mean, you've mastered all these things to be the empress. So you've done the work. You've healed yourself. You've done all the things you're meant to be doing here to become this empress. Wow. You're really bossing up. You're really getting that higher frequency. I feel like that higher vibration. You're being very ma magnetic. You you may not be a feminine, um, you, but you're showing up as the empress, which is mastering self. I feel like your emotions, um, you're, you're a leader, you're a leader, you have integrity. I feel like you... You're very nurturing and practical and intelligent, confident, very um, intuit um, intuitive. Wow, that's so beautiful. Now let's look at your, uh, wow, emperor. <laughs> oh my goodness, you've transformed into the emperor and the empress. So this may be that you have mastered both sides of yourself. Now, this also could be somebody that is transforming to come in for you because we did see planting new seeds that somebody may see you as very beautiful. They see you as their empress or you see them as your emperor. You've transformed somebody here. I feel like it has to do with how unique you are. You know, how you really bring change about how you love people. And maybe people have never experienced a love like yours. You may have all your past people wanting to be with you still. They may be, I feel like some of them may have been narcissistic where they talk shit about you so other people wouldn't come in for you. They may have even talked shit about you because secretly they want to be back with you. And they don't want anyone else to have you. Maybe they know they can't come back. Maybe they know you won't have them back because they've done too much to you. I feel like whoever this emperor is, if this is you and you've mastered yourself, 
I feel like you are looking for that cup of love, but I feel like there's an empress out there who is in that same energy that's very magnetic, and there's going to be an undeniable attraction here. Something you're not going to be able to fight off. It's going to be very beautiful, I feel. Something that is destined for you. This is, this is such a beautiful reading, Taurus. I'm so happy for you. I feel like things are really going to turn around in your world. I feel like this year, this definitely, this is going to be your year to win it. Okay? And I feel like you are in it to win it. Like, seriously. And it has to do with a lot of love here. And I feel like now you're going to be able to pick out those people. You're going to be able to see who are narcissistic type of tendencies to stay away from with your boundaries here. You definitely have bossed up and have put your boundaries in place. You know your worth. That <laughs> I love that. You know your worth. You're getting your blessings. You're going to be celebrating if you haven't receive these blessings yet they are coming in for you wow taurus i love this reading for you so please like share and subscribe and uh, give me that thumbs up here because i'm really working hard for you guys don't forget to like it you know share it and definitely subscribe and become part of the divine oracle tribe and if you do want to donate i have a paypal account down below you can donate through there's confirmation <laughs> and um also if you want you can um i don't give out personal readings i was going to try to do that but i just don't have the time for that so during my readings online for general readings like always remember that this could be um, for you uh, it may resonate exactly for you or just take what does resonate and leave the rest okay so just yeah all right guys stay blessed we'll see you next time later